Tiffany just threw herself a prom, although she was quite the single lady at her big dance. Stag. Dance. Yeah, because I heard it was going to be some meteor stag. <laughs> so, and I had invited a few billionaires to bring some of their billionaire friends. But there was no sign of Tiffany's billionaire boyfriend, Bitcoin investor Marvin Jones, at her first annual prom gala. Jimmy Kimmel and his wife were there, and so was a DJing Paris Hilton. Come on, let's dance, y'all. How did this happen? So this happened for me having conversations with different celebrities that I know in the business. Mm -hmm. And me like reminiscing about prom, going, do you remember prom this, and this happened and this looks like kind of like prom. And they're like, no, I don't remember. I was working. I never got to go to prom. <laughs> or I'm a part of the LGBT community and I couldn't go with who I wanted to go with. So I just didn't go at all. Proceeds from the night are going to Tiffany's She Ready Foundation, an organization she founded to support youth impacted by foster care. Dr. Theon Gordon is her executive director. I grew up in the foster care system, mm -hmm. um, and the reason I started it was because when I was a kid, getting moved around from house to house, my clothes was always in trash bags, mm -hmm. and that made me feel like garbage. And I said to myself, if I ever get any kind of power, I'm gonna try to make sure kids don't feel like garbage. But growing up, Tiffany didn't feel beautiful at her prom. Well, sort of. I didn't like my dress at the last one I went to, so. The last one? Yeah, the last one. How many proms did we do? Uh, I, I went to three proms because I was popular <laughs> back in the 1900s, okay? okay? Um, and one of the proms I went to, I didn't even know the guy at all. My friend was just like, my friend at my school, he don't have nobody to go to prom with. Would you go with him? And I was like, sure. And it was funny because when they pulled up to my house to pick me up, his whole family was with him. And they was like, <laughs> oh, wow, she's actually pretty. She's actually pretty. <laughs> now, my dress was only $25. That's I had got okay. it from the rhodium swap meet back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had it popping. I did my own makeup, my own hair, put a ponytail on it. But then at my prom, I asked the hairstylist to do my hair. And I asked her to make me look like Audrey Hepburn out of breakfast at Tiffany's, and instead she made me look like Holly Berry out of bats. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Do you remember your prom? I do. I went to two proms. I oh, went to my okay. junior prom and I went to my senior prom. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know one of the people when I went to my prom, too. Tiffany, who's training to play Olympian Florence Griffith Joyner in an upcoming biopic. Gotta get them them legs, <laughs> gotta get them legs right. Okay. Let them all, let them all muscle. Is starring yeah. this summer in Disney's Haunted Mansion with Jared Leto, Owen Wilson, and Danny DeVito. These ghosts definitely don't want to leave. It took a lot for me to say yes to this movie. Okay, it wasn't, it didn't take that much because I've always dreamed of working for Disney. Mm -hmm. But um, I was like, ooh, Haunted Mansion, I do like the ride. It is the most air conditioned, coolest ride <laughs> in the whole theme park, especially in the summertime. And Tiffany has certainly worked her way up to leading lady status. I think I've tried almost every job in this industry. I've tried to be an interviewing reporter, and correspondent. Sure amazing. No, girl, it was bad. <laughs> um, and I realized how much that gave me confidence. Mm -hmm. And I want the kids to feel the same way. I try to think about what I do have. Mm -hmm. And I always remember where I came from and have an attitude of gratitude. Thousands <laughs> of jobs and thousands of opportunities are created every time I decide to say yes. And for me, yeah. that brings me lots of joy and lots of happiness. And so when I get on the carpet and when I'm showing up to certain events, mm -hmm. even if I'm feeling kind of bad, you know them days where your back is aching, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, my ovaries about to fall out. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. I still am grateful because I remember where I came from. Yeah. I remember having roaches in the house or wishing I had a pretty dress to wear to service. You know, now I have all these pretty dresses and sometimes I go to sleep in them. Do you really? <laughs> you sleeping in that tonight? Nah, I'm not gonna sleep in this tonight. <laughs> well, if I go home alone, I will. Cause I can't take it off by myself. <laughs>